Have you ever wondered how it's possible for some couples to stay starry-eyed for years and others let their sizzle fizzle? <laughs> Life coach Marcy Maglino is here with tips on developing healthy couple habits beyond separate bathrooms. Yes, and, <laughs> and sometimes separate, you know, I could live next door to my husband and be perfectly happy. Um, you know, it's really funny. I, d I troll the internet for all this. Uh, what is it that's been researched and many of it we know already. The first thing, though, is I think that every res a relationship em a researcher emphasizes is fight fair. Mm -hmm. Avoid blowouts. You're going to have conflict. A, a happy relationship is not without conflict. You're always going to have it. How you deal with it, first and foremost, believing that you're going to have conflict, fight fair. No screaming, no yelling, no name calling, no cursing, no minimizing the other person. Learn to fight fair. Now what if you have different fight styles? I mean, say one person likes to talk, talk, talk and work through it and the other person needs to step away and take a break for a little bit. Yeah. You have to honor both sides in a sense. Like if you need to blow off steam, just do it somewhere else because whatever's coming out of your mouth is not the truth. Mm -hmm. It's just a reaction. You're feeling threatened. If you need a timeout, okay, this is the part where I need a timeout. I'm going upstairs. Um, you can't can't force another person to fight your way. You have to again go back to we fight differently. We know that about each other. So what are we going to do? And that's part of seeing things from the other person's perspective. Absolutely. I mean, y that's the hardest thing. The way you see it is not the facts or the truth. It's one perspective, and it may be very important to you. But if you're in the to the we and not the me, you have to accommodate. All right, let's talk about recalling the positive. A lot of us think back and go, oh, remember oh, when? Why that was can't so feel like lovely. That? Yes, you have to remember the things you liked to do. What brought you together in the first place? Were you in a roller coaster club? Were you, you know, um, in Niagara Falls or uh, in the Bahamas? Go and return there. Return to the activity, return to that place. I mean, even some people I know walk a campus of a college they met in. You know, it does recall. I mean, we're multisensory. The smells, the, you know, the, the, the noise, whatever, brings us back to what we first loved about this person. Because life gets in the way. Kids, work, I mean, everything happens all at once. Yeah. And then it does, you need to take time out. And sometimes when you can go back to those places if you have an opportunity, yeah. it's great. Absolutely. I mean, how many of us say, I've, what am I doing with this person? You know, you forget. Or That's sometimes when you go someplace and you're like, we're going to come back here in 10 years. Yeah. Make it happen. Oh, make it happen. Put it on the list. Absolutely. And, you know, recall. So you want to recall the positive And you also want to so look to the past, but look to the future, too. Many of us don't have the same interests as our loved one. We don't. We, you know, they, they watch Breaking Bad, and I'm more into Scandal. I mean, there's so many things that, di that we are different. However, what do we share? The most important things researchers say is you must have a shared vision for the couple, for the, for the future. It, whether that's how you raise a child or where do you want to be in your retirement, um, who supports who as who goes back to school. I mean, those are the really important things. I mean, I think it's really important that couples have separate interests, but it's also important that you don't grow apart through those separate right. interests. So do have some shared things that you do together, too. Yeah, and share them with each other. You never know. You could, you know, I could suddenly find football interesting, and my husband can find, you know, romance novels interesting or whatever. But it's true. Uh, share it. Don't give up. And have your own things. I think the happiest couples are people who know, hey, I don't have to be with my other uh, significant other 24-7. Right. You know, there's, there's something kind of wrong with that. But you enjoy the separate things, but you enjoy each other, and you see yourself in a future together. And the ability to laugh together. Absolutely. Humor laugh at is the number one thing. <laughs> even, if you, even if you don't... <laughs> Laugh at the same things you laugh at what they're laughing right. at because they're <laughs> laughing at it. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mercy, thank you so much.